Good morning, my friends. It's Wednesday, February 1st, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. My cat is, oh, she's right there. Hi, sweetheart. Wandering around. And this morning we are looking at a fresco from the seventh century in Italy of the Magi, the wise men. But the most fascinating part of this fresco is the angel who is in fact the star, the star that led the wise men to the, to the manger in Bethlehem, was an angel, was a messenger. What a concept. The explosion of fire and matter millions of light years away was an angel. I love it. I believe it. A messenger of God. We continue this morning in Paul's letter to the church in Galatia. Paul makes a strange analogy, one that's a little degrading this morning, but his message is good. He talks about the two women that Abraham loved, or at least had relations with. Hagar, the slave woman who had a child born into bondage, born into slavery, and Sarah, his wife, who was a free woman who had a child born into freedom. And it was the child born into freedom who was heir of the promise, according to Paul. Paul is trying to tell us that, and the people of the church in Galatia, that if we live according to people's expectations, according to the Jewish law or any other set of rules or expectations that others place upon us, we live our lives in bondage and we can never be free to fully express the love of Christ. Whereas if we understand that we are already saved by Christ in our baptism, then we have this ultimate freedom to be innovative, to be creators. It's like we've been given a whole new canvas. We can express God's love in so many ways, through technology, art, friendship, who knows, new inventions. Don't be bound by what other people expect of you or think about you. Be liberated in Christ, be free to think outside the box, to express God's love in new and innovative ways, you are bound by nothing anymore, except for the confines of your own mind. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this day. We ask you to liberate us from pleasing others Help us to be true to the way that you call us to love in this world, whatever that may be. Help us to be bound by nothing, but to fully express your grace in this world. We ask you to bless the sick today, Lord Christ, to bless those who are dying and the hungry, those who are in pain, those who are lonely or addicted, or struggle with mental illness. We ask you, Lord, to grant peace to this world. Give us a reverence for this magnificent earth that you have given us, where angels of God speak to us through the events of nature and the sky. Help us to be bold innovators and express your love in new ways to reach out to people who do not know you or love you. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, who loved in the most unexpected of ways and changed the world. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.